I think I think I think we've just we've just gone underway for the men's fourth division there. Green Templeton off the start, but I think it's the second Oriole crew that had the had the flying start there, or perhaps even St. Peter's behind them. Wolfson looking to make an early bump, hopefully over Green Templeton. It'll be interesting to see if Green Templeton, this is their highest position they've ever started to race. It'll be interesting to see if they can if they can maintain that. Um, and we'll see what kind of chaos we have this time as we go into the gas. Yeah, blinding start from St. Peter's there. They look to be chasing down Oriole, getting closer and closer. Do you think they're even going to get them before the bridge? What a fantastic start there uh, from St. Peter's. They Again, though, they've got to be careful. They've got to be careful because hunting down St. Peter's, it is uh, Christchurch. And uh, St. Anthony's with uh, with Adam, our, one of our co-commentators, he's coxing them on, looking to do absolute bits. But there we see Congratulations, huge success for St. Peter's. Job done. Do you know what? That's the way to do bombs head. Mm -hmm. Get it over and done with before uh, Donington Bridge. But uh, ah, disaster there. Crews getting interlinked, caught up in each other. And uh, not, I think, similar to Pembroke, not the way you want to start your bumps. Not the way you want to start your bumps at all because it's, uh, it's a long road back to the boathouse after a start like that. It is, yeah. I think, I think Cats and Teddy's there have had a, had a disappointing start. Um, and then, as we said, they're <laughs> fairly new looking for Levy. That's not how they're going to want to going to want to start there. So I was going to say, if I was a coach there, I'd be uh, <laughs> panicking slightly, seeing those blades get closer and closer to that uh, that shell. But we see there a great sight there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, eight hurtling down towards the gut, uh, a blinding start, and there we see we see so in the bank, job done there uh, for. Um, for uh, for one of the crews already. Oriel, I believe there, um, having having bumped uh, Wolfson off the start. Uh, St. Cats seem to have got underway. So they'll see their second men's boat looking looking very sharp there, Fergus, um, for a second boat after after time off the water, looking very comfortable, especially after that that slightly disastrous start that we saw just a moment ago. Yeah, tough for St. Cats. Um, Getting caught up in uh, in the action with Teddy Hall. Uh, Teddy Hall, a great great start actually. I mean, obviously it won't have been the the bump execution that they would have wanted to. Getting wrapped up, and uh, but I think as you said, job done very early on. So it's a uh, it's a long road now for it's Catherine's who have uh, traded places with uh, Teddy Hall uh, as we head on down. But now riding with uh, riding with Oriole as they head down past uh, Longbridge Boathouse. And there we see uh, St. Cats, long road down to the finish, as they know that they've got to see out this course, followed by the uh, the umpire's launch. Yeah, all the crews looking nice. Had a slightly a little, a little bit of problem off the start for the two crews at the bottom of this of this division. But I think as we entered the gulp, we didn't see that chaos that we've seen earlier on, and I think that's paid off. Lots of the crews had a really good start. A lot of them looking very very quick. Um, especially given that some of these are our Congress second crews are looking very, very comfortable um, this end of the week, and they'll be looking to maintain that as they go forward. So, riding with uh, Keeble College at the moment with uh, White Blaze, the red tip on their blaze. Yeah, looking good, looking good in there. It's swift charging down uh, through the gut past our camera at uh, Longridge Boathouse. But I would turn our attention to our camera at. Uh, at uh, New College Boathouse, and it looks uh, like it's going to be quite the tussle between, uh, I think, what looks to be St. Anthony's chased down, sorry, my mistake, uh, Wolfson being chased down by uh, Keeble College, or uh, Wolfson chased down by Oriel College. Yeah, it does, it does indeed. Just as we come, as the camera pans past now, the question is, can, can crews at this point hang on um, all the way down? Wolfson there, that, that, that would be the question the crew is asking themselves and the person, the, the Cox is asking the crew as well, is can we hang on just until we get to the clapper to prevent being being swallowed by the crew behind us? Um, I think it looks like they will. I don't think there's quite enough room for them to be caught at this point, but we will see if anything, if anything changes that over the next few strokes. Yeah, I think Oriole certainly look the stronger crew as we come into the finish line, but it is perhaps... There's a little bit too much work for them to do in the last dying stages. I mean, they'll be putting their sprint in. They'll still be trying to get that bump, that elusive bump, as we come into the last few stages. But you see out in the distance, out in front, great performance from uh, Green Templeton 
holding on to first place in this division. Cracking rule from them down this course, this course. Cool, calm and collected. Wilson College looking set to maintain second place, uh, followed by Oriel. And then uh, moving on up, it is St. Anthony's with their uh, red kit and the red and yellow blades. Another great performance uh, from them. So they are the four crews that we can see at the moment coming into the dying stages of this men's division four. And uh, just as I say that, actually, a uh, little bit of an issue on uh, both sides for uh, St. Anthony's, but uh, they've regathered it and uh, a few strokes left. And there we see just in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, Cable College coming through, rowing over this uh, men's division four uh, summer torpids race.